Welcome to day two of Praxis to Power 2021, a pre-institute available to participants at the six Howard Mathematica site exclusively. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of the Summer Institute in Computational Social Science, uh, sponsored by Howard University of Mathematica. Uh, this is day two of Praxis to Power, our exclusive pre-institute. I am going to spend a few minutes uh, giving, uh, offering a few announcements, uh, some housekeeping, we'll review the schedule, and then we'll send you into the day's activities. Very excited to see you all. Uh, I hope everyone got some sleep uh, and, uh, and is uh, excited for the, the day to come. I know I am. I, I, I fell asleep on the couch last night and woke up at about midnight, uh, so I'm finally well rested. Uh, and I hope you all are as well. As a reminder, please take time for your biological, technological, spiritual, emotional, and personal needs throughout. Uh, you know, we're only as good as, uh, as, as, as we feel, and please make sure you're taking time for yourself. Uh, just a reminder that no matter what uh, your business card says or whether you have a business card, uh, for the next two weeks, you are a student. So uh, we all arrive here and have the opportunity to learn this phenomenal, uh, methodological uh, approach, approach this toolkit. Uh, and uh, it, we welcome everyone to arrive as they are each day. You're enough. Uh, what you have to give and the questions you bring to the table are enough. Uh, and uh, as I, I mentioned earlier, please take care of yourself. Um, I, I wanna ask you to think about what your personal intention is for today. Uh, so maybe yesterday it was just getting through the day. It was a long day. Maybe today it's asking, asking a few questions, uh, you know, uh, being a little bit more courageous and bold in your workshop with Jay later. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll ask you to think about setting a personal intention for the entire institute when we arrive together tomorrow. But let's let's think about think about what your intention is just for today. So uh, let's uh, let's take a minute and go through. The, uh, oh, actually I have a few morning announcements first and then, um, and then we'll jump into housekeeping and then the schedule. But uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna try to give you a way to get to know each other, uh, you know, research-wise, but also personally. So we're gonna do a little morning getting to know you question every morning and we'll, uh, you can put your stuff in the chat box. Today's question, uh, which uh, is uh, the creation of Christina, one of, our event, uh, uh, one of our event staff members is, is there a song you currently have stuck in your head? So please feel free to drop that in the in the in the chat box for me. That is definitely September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I'm going to write that Earth, Wind, and Fire. I I played it this morning. You'll probably hear me humming it uh, today. Is there a song that is stuck in your head? Uh, drop it in the chat box. I know uh, we had uh, so a great discussion about trap music yesterday. Uh, so maybe there's uh, maybe there's a fun song stuck in your head. So let us uh, say hi and let us know what's stuck in your head. Also, we welcome humble brags in the morning too. So if something happened overnight that was fantastic, uh, or you just uh, didn't have the courage to share it yesterday, please feel free to drop that in the chat box too. Someone's got Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles, Who the Cat Fit by Bob Marley, love it. The Ocean by Led Zeppelin, lots of great songs. Heat Waves by the Glass Animals. I don't know that one, I'm gonna have to look that one up. If we get our stuff together, maybe we'll have some music playing uh, when you join us tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll make a playlist here. Mercury by Block Party. Oh, a YouTube playlist. That's a great idea. Uh, we welcome leadership. So if anybody knows how to do that, Pretty Wings by Maxwell and Touchdown to Cause Hell. Love it. I'm, thank you. Yesh is going to put together a YouTube playlist for us of this stuff. Fantastic. This look Wildfire by Little Dragon. This will be great. DJ Khaled. I did it, and another one. Various Paramore songs, mostly Ain't It Fun. I'm watching Insecure, so there's a ton of the music from Insecure that's, uh, that's on my playlist right now. So uh, the, the, this playlist that Yesh is gonna put together will be great when you all are in, in your groups. Maybe you wanna have a soundtrack to your experience. All right, fantastic. We welcome humble brags too. Drop those in the chat box if there's something uh, you want us to know about that's going great. Ain't it fun on Dance Dance Revolution this morning? Very nice, very nice. All right, so uh, a few reminders while we're seeing all the amazing humble brags and music. 
heading down there. Oh, we've got Dance Dance Revolution. People are into that. Rosalia, Heartbreak Anniversary by Giveon. All right, so um, announcements, a few housekeeping items. So uh, Ava is gonna drop a link to our consent form in the chat box, just a friendly reminder. Uh, that we want to make sure we know uh, and respect use of your your image on social media um, or in these videos. So um, we will have, uh, go back and edit where needed if, if someone appears and they've said they don't want to be on video. Um, there are also folks uh, that uh, sometimes don't want their image used or don't want their address used. Uh, so we want to make sure we, uh, we respect everyone. Um, with that in mind, I would ask you not to record our sessions. Uh, we will edit them and put them up and include uh, respect for, for people's wishes from the consent form. So again, uh, someone dropped the consent form for us if that hasn't appeared. So uh, we ask you to not uh, take pictures or record unless you've checked in with the people that are gonna be in the picture and the recording. Uh, we will post everything uh, post. All right. Uh, I want to also drop our anonymous pulse survey uh, in the chat box. So this is something we're going to do every day, usually at the end of the day, but we wanted to give you all a break yesterday, so we'll do it this morning. Uh, it's a very simple uh, four question survey. It's uh, keep, uh, let me see, Amanda, do you remember what's in it? It's like keep, continue, stop. Keep, any, start, stop. Uh, keep, start, stop. stop, and then anything else you want to tell us. So what do you want us to keep doing? What do you want us to continue? What do you want us to keep? What do you want us to continue? What do you want us to stop? And anything else. It's anonymous. You'll get it every single day. So if someone could drop that in the chat box and put the word pulse survey in front of it. So we're hoping you will do that now for yesterday. Uh, we wanted again to give you a, a little bit of a break. So we'll, we'll give you uh, five minutes. You wanna take a, a minute and fill that out again, anonymous. And what we will generally do is at the end of the day, we'll review that and make changes ahead of the next day. So again, yesterday we wanted to give you a break, so we didn't do it, but that will, uh, well, that will be what we do at the end of the day. Today may also be a day where you get this by email because uh, we won't see you um, after, uh, after your session with Jay and before uh, the opening plenary with President Frederick. So you may get this by email. We may give it to you tomorrow morning. Great, so we're filling out now based on yesterday's activities. Again, anonymous, keep, start, stop. I think I got it right that time. And uh, anything we need to know. So it is 10, 18 uh, Eastern for me. So we'll give you five minutes. So I'll start talking again at 1023. And we also report in on what comes in every day also to the group. If you're already done and have some music you want to share uh, in the chat box or a humble brag, we welcome that. Have about three minutes left.
two more minutes. Ava, can you resend the link to our um, for today? I got an email that someone was having difficulty getting in. So resend the new link for today. I already responded. Thank you. Of course you did, because you're amazing. Got a little less than a minute to go. Okay. All right. A few more announcements. Yes, Meredith, we will get you the Slack link. Fantastic. Uh, Amanda, can you go ahead and add Meredith to Slack? All right. So a few more announcements and we'll do a little bit of troubleshooting uh, after going over. Actually, we'll troubleshoot next and then we'll go over the calendar last. All right. Uh, so uh, announcements. Uh, you notice that you got an email with a Zoom link this morning uh, to prevent Zoom bombing. You'll get uh, new ones every morning. So uh, please keep an eye out for that email. It should come into your inbox at eight in the morning. We'll also include a few updates or, or, or just little things you need to know. We'll try to keep those short, but uh, those will uh, arrive in your inbox in, at 8 a.m. every morning on our email list. Uh, reminder, I think we have this set so that your camera is turned off and you're muted when you arrive, but just in case you arrive to a, a live discussion that's being recorded, uh, please try and mute yourself when you arrive. I think we've corrected that so it happens automatically, but just in case. I would encourage you to uh, update your Zoom today. There's lots of cool, fun features, including one where we can set it so it looks like everyone is sitting in a classroom together in chairs. And we'd love to, to maybe switch the perspective and mix it up when we're all together so you can all see each other. So I would encourage you to update your Zoom if you haven't done that recently. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be sending out some backgrounds like the ones we have. And if you uh, don't have an updated Zoom, it can be difficult to get it to work. So I would en encourage you to update your Zoom uh, if you haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, I am, uh, we're gonna share a hyperlink in uh, in the chat box right now. So uh, if you've noticed on the schedule, which I will go over in a minute, we have some pretty amazing lunchtime Q live Q&A. So Amanda, if you could drop that in the chat box for us. So we'd like to give you all a chance to get in to get involved uh, with those speakers. You're, we'll be doing Q&A, uh, but you know, we, we do recordings and, and it'll be nice to have other, other voices besides mine on here. So what we'd like is for everyone to sign up uh, for at least one of the live Q&A lunchtime speakers to ask questions. All that means is the, the night before, uh, early in the day, you watch their video. Uh, it's between uh, 20 and 45 minutes, I think, for, for all the lunchtime speakers. And, uh, and just come with, uh, with a few questions. So that's uh, the board of Black and AI, that is uh, the negotiating team that, uh, that uh, got free access uh, to Avelsior um, uh, articles for the UC system. That's uh, data nutrition, that's gone effect, that's fake net AI. So these lunchtime talks are people doing really cool things with data or sort of changing the game uh, with regards to access to data. Uh, I'd also, alongside thinking about this as informational, also consider 
uh, that these could be potential partners for you uh, in your research. So these folks have access to really interesting data sets from, uh, you know, from Facebook um, or, um, or, or so these are, these are people that you might want to think about, uh, you know, bringing into your, into your work or who have access to, so these are networking opportunities. So uh, we dropped the uh, link in the chat box for lunchtime Q&A sign-up sheet. Uh, we're requesting that everybody sign up for one. The lunchtime talks are encouraged. Uh, we do, you do not have to attend those, but we'd like at least uh, a couple people at each uh, because we have, uh, all these folks have sort of in, in invested time to, to present this information and we want to meet them with the exuberant Q&A. Uh, and I, I expect that uh, most of you will want to attend these things. It's a great way to connect with other people in our in our little community here, and also uh, the the topics that they're covering are are pretty incredible. This is something that is unique to our site. No other site has these bite sized lunchtime talks. Uh, so please sign up for at least uh, one. Uh, this is just to ask questions. Everyone's welcome to attend, uh, but we'd like to have at least uh, a, a few people asking questions on each day. We provided background on each of the organizations and hyperlinks uh, so, uh, so you can um, get some background. And we'll make sure ahead of time you get a little reminder about that you're doing that. And then, so don't worry about that. The daily emails will, will help with that from us. I also want to give you a heads up that you're going to get a survey from us uh, later on today. So we want to make sure we're putting you in groups. Uh, where uh, there's a wide range of skill sets for the different activities that you'll be doing every day. Uh, you know, our, once we shift to next week, you will be in small groups and doing quite a bit of group work together. So we wanna make sure that when we put you in those groups that there's a wide range of skill sets. So we're gonna send you a questionnaire that asks about your skill sets uh, and, and the different things that we're, we're doing uh, over the next week or so. Uh, you got a similar survey a while ago, so it, similar questions. Um, uh, and so that we can sort of pair you up well. All right, so that, that covers my announcements. So again, in our chat box, we've got a link to the Pulse survey, uh, which is just your experience yesterday, keep, stop, start. You also have uh, our consent form uh, and a reminder to please uh, do not record and take pictures. We wanna make sure we edit things uh, to remove anyone who does not want their image used. So uh, please fill out the consent form. Uh, we also provided the lunchtime discussion sign-up sheet. Uh, you'll, you'll hear about these things again uh, if, if there are folks who haven't filled them out, so don't worry, um, but they're all in the chat box. Uh, and a reminder that you're going to get a, a survey from us to, to make sure we put you in groups thoughtfully. So we're going to do some quick troubleshooting, and then I'll go through the schedule. So troubleshooting is a great time for questions. I'm not sure if there are any in the chat box yet. But if you're having trouble with Slack, if you're not getting our, if you did not get our emails at 8 a.m. yesterday and today, um, or if you have any you know, questions uh, about how things are, are working or anything, now is a great time for that. So I will pause awkwardly for 60 seconds and see if we have any questions. So uh, great question, Marissa. So attendance is open. You can all attend. Uh, feel free if you wanna add yourself to more than one, go for it. You can add yourself to everything. Uh, what we're looking for in those days is for you to have watched the video and be prepared to ask questions. So everybody is always welcome to everything, but these are folks who I'm going to toss the mic to to ask questions uh, so, so folks get to hear other voices besides mine. And we had some great questions yesterday, so I'm excited about that. Thank you for that question. Great question, Marissa. So if you're having any difficulty... Ah, so we have a question about, is anyone else running R on Mac? So Marissa is. So we do we want to pull together a Mac R group and a PC R group? Because I know most of the conversations in our videos are, uh, are, are Chris using, um, Chris Bale using Mac. So I had to translate some stuff to PC for myself. But we may want to set up uh, conversations surrounding that. Wonderful. People may reach out to the folks using R on Mac. Love the leadership. Thank you all. Love that we're building community here. Fantastic. Yes, love that. Uh, so Erica, on our Slack, uh, 
So uh, Jay is going to be available for any questions on Slack about ours on our main channel. So feel free to add questions or set up a set up a channel. Uh, with just specifically our questions. Reminder, our Slack covers all 23 locations. So you may get uh, people to join from our other locations around the world. There's 700 people in there. So please uh, exercise leadership in there too. And Jay, I know we'll join you to help with Slack, excuse me, with R, and we'll have some new TAs to joining us on R soon too. And Python, whatever you need. There is never much interaction that happens across sites, so maybe we'll be the site that changes that. Maybe there's a, a black Twitter group on there and you pull people from every single uh, every single um, location. Or maybe there are other linguists at other sites. Feel free to reach out to folks. And if you need help with that, let us know. There is a channel just for our site, Meredith. And I believe you were all added to that. If folks are uh, confused about how to do that, definitely come to office hours or check in with each other. Everything we post on email will also get posted on Slack. Which reminds me, uh, Amanda, can you put up the link to today's meeting on Slack? Also have our email list. All right, so since I don't see any questions, uh, uh, Amber, can you go ahead and put up our schedule and I'll walk through the schedule for today, make sure everybody is aware of what's going on. All right. So you all are here, so you know that uh, uh, this morning uh, we do our little, we'll call it a cadence call um, or connect in the morning just to go over logistics, answer questions before we head off into the day. So that's 10 to 11, but we are definitely not going to 11. I love to give people their time back. Uh, so um, let's go through the schedule. So after that, today we set aside time uh, for you all to continue to get comfortable with the material. Uh, so if you started a little bit late and need some time to do some catch up or you want to get ahead, that's great. So we put the hyperlink to the bootcamp materials with Chris Bale. If you want to spend some time strengthening your R skills, um, then we've got the hyperlinks to all of the lecture content, the pre-arrival materials. Remember, we're a flipped classroom, so the expectation is you will have reviewed the day's materials before you arrive. Five videos, sometimes code, uh, always slides are located for each day. Uh, up there, there's also optional day six materials on experiments, not required to do that, but it is there. Uh, we also put the link to Bit by Bit by Matt Salganik. You have all received it by mail now. Uh, and please feel free to keep your textbook handy. If you have questions, we're, we're happy to go page by page with anybody. Uh, there's a link there to the book. You also have it. There's also a video um, where I interviewed Matt about uh, the content of the book. So if you're looking for a quick overview of the book, he does that. There's a giant summary of the entire book that he does. I also asked him some questions um, that connected with our site, the experiences of, of people of color with these methods, both uh, you know, behind the camera, running the research, and then also participating in the research. So I'd encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, it's a nice cheat sheet uh, for the book. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to, to finish the in, entire book or you want to review certain sections. We also have uh, some exclusive six content to watch um, at your leisure. No expectation that you'll watch it all today. Uh, you may want to get to know some of the people who are part of this work, including our uh, financial and locational sponsors, our faculty. Um, there's some background on six there and our, our founders. Um, please feel free to take a look at that during this open time today from 11 to 2 if you're all caught up with boot camp and the day's work. We also have a few uh, videos offered by courtesy. Um, on uh, reimagining higher education. There's the Black and AI board video there, so you can get to know that organization. They're definitely changing the game. Uh, uh, diversity and computational social science video from last year's um, from last year's festival, which you'll find out more about uh, in coming days. And uh, there's also uh, what else is on there? Uh, and then uh, a, a, an article written about us. Uh, so there are a few articles that are in the works right now. Uh, and as those become available, we'll post them here. So I think there's an op-ed that might be published, a few blog posts, some interviews, podcasts. So uh, stay tuned. There's a lot of interest in our site. So that covers that period from 11 to 2. 
Um, so you are on your own there. We'll be here all day too. If you have questions, want to pop in and ask them Slack, email, or, or come join us. We'll head into your second session of making computational methods accessible with, uh, with Jay. Today is data visualization. He'll also be discussing teaching, uh, teaching computational social science. So if that's something you're interested in, he's got quite a bit of experience. Is also interested in learning about what you thought uh, about how things uh, went in his two sessions as he's about to start a faculty job also. Uh, and then uh, we'll have a little break, uh, 5 to 5.15, and then we'll come back and officially kick off the first Computational Social Science Institute uh, at a historically Black university. Uh, we will uh, be joined by uh, President Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is uh, going to be our opening plenary speaker. He's going to speak for a few minutes. Uh, he will be introduced by Calvin Hadley, sociology PhD student, and also uh, the uh, one of our event co-sponsors. And uh, and then it'll be live Q and A. So uh, we have not taken signups uh, for this. Um, we're we're just uh, gonna gonna go with questions that y'all might have. So please feel free to take a look at his bio, uh, get to know a bit about him, and uh, you'll have a chance to to ask questions. And that does it for our day. We'll finish up at 6.15, in, uh, in, uh, unless Dr. Frederick, who I've been told, uh, loves answering questions, decides to stick around longer. So uh, that is our day. Uh, after that, you'll get our, our, our you know, email the next morning uh, with uh, the new Zoom link and answering any questions and such that you may have. That does it for our day. Um, I think that's all I have on my list today to go over with you before you head into your time on your own. Uh, if there are not any questions, you're, you're welcome to head out. If you would like to stay here and be in a chat room, uh, in, a, in, a, in a breakout room to talk about specific things with each other, we can set that up for you. Um, if you'd like to review materials together, we are open to leadership if people have things they wanna do, but uh, that does it for our logistics uh, and, and review this morning at 10.38. So you're welcome to take 22 minutes of your time back. Um, or if you want to get organized and, and do something in a breakout room, we can do that too. I will pause uh, and breathe to see if there are any questions or if we start to see people logging out. <laughs> Log out, there goes one. <laughs> okay, so, so to be clear, after, after this, we've got our 20 minute break that we have received back, but then we at 11 o'clock to two o'clock we got like open hours like yes. we could do the office hours or we could yep. catch up on stuff on our own yes and then after that we gotta come back here. yes so that you have to be back to cj at two o'clock okay. but before that you're on your own okay i just want to make sure before i wander off into the ether yeah, right. wait, wa wander head off into the ether do that <laughs> i love i love the one person they're just like out and just gone <laughs> <laughs> no question yeah exactly no questions out <laughs> All right, All right. It, and we're here, whatever you need. So, and, and if you need, send an email if you want to get organized and do a breakout room and come back. That's fine too. Okay. Cool. Have a good day. Bye, Kimberly. Bye. See you. Bye, Maxine. Bye, Todd. Bye, Nanette. I Bye. see you. Bye. Bye, Nicole. Thank you all for watching. For more information on Six Howard Mathematica, visit our website, follow us on social media and join our email list.